justice. I stand for truth. You shouldn't be sitting there. Size who? Anyway, I guess it's not actually my head. No, you could make a good magistrate. So, what can I do for you? I want to see your boss. Go to the reception if my boss are talking about his son, Iko No, no, nothing. I was actually directed to meet Barista Christian. So, what makes you think that your Barista Christian is a giant? You mean, you are him? Barista Chris on Omar. Can you cry for any bad No, except that uh, the male secretary out there didn't tell me he was directing me to a baby lawyer. Shut up! What you do? I, I, are you nuts? This is a law firm, and there are countless number of judges who have to walk himself into. So, watch your tongue! <laughs> matter. You know I've got a problem. I came here because you are highly recommended. Only for you to lie me to a kid's office. Look, who told you I'm here for a comedy stuff? Mr. Budola. The man you mistakenly call a boy is the most qualified for your case. That little boy? He might be little but definitely not a boy. So, if I were you, I do rush back in and apologize before he changes his mind and decides not to handle your case. So please, I'm busy. Mr. Dan, good dollar. I know. Then you must know that I'm in big shit. That will seem to tell me. I guess I have to tell you everything. If you want me to save your ass. Yes. yes. I did it. Did what? But you said you knew why I'm here. Ah, not first round. Now tell me, what did you do? I murdered her. Running for, I will catch. 
You're not going to get this money, and you end up going home with a broken neck. Crafty dialog, but that has not upgraded you from amateur ranks. Eh? Oh, you got go to. I should be complimenting you for that, but let me tell you, smart boy, and the people, king of the jungle. I don't want this for me. Any person who does. That is the fastest way to the grave. Uh, actually, sir, I, I don't know. I, 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 I'm, I, Put I don't that know. wallet on your head. Put your hands as well. Gradually stand up and move. 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 If you make noise, I'll blow your flesh to this. Did you hear me? I'll blow it to this. Move. 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 I'm not the management, please. Take it up if you feel you can convince the jury. This is a serious matter, Fred. Come off it. How do you expect me to put on my wig, walk into a courtroom, try to convince the jury that a man who is as guilty as can is as clean as a whistle? Because when you do, you win another case. And behold, the fame grows in stature. And guess what? Your profile rises too. The law is meant to be played by the side of the innocent. But you studied criminal law, didn't you? Yes, sir, I did. That's why you're in Nico to HM. <laughs> Listen, I studied criminal law to defend the innocent. There's always two sides of the coin in any case. I want to be on the positive side. No, there is no positive lawyer besides one that convinces the jury. But I got conscious. I always want to defend the innocent. But it's unfortunate. We don't choose our clients. They do. They choose us. Hey! There are more than 46 liars in this chamber, smart ones. Please, find one and give him this criminal, okay? Let me see him save that murderer from the hangman. And if the innocent one comes, then shift that to me. Do you really want to go find this profession? <laughs> That's why I spent six years molding myself. And if it betrays you, I kept my candle burning so that I would be able to make a first class. Good. And I did. Now let me educate you, my dear Chris. A smart lawyer is the one that saves a man already doomed for execution, life, long stretch. He pulls some smart stunts, fills the jury with some believable theories, and walks out with his client patting his back. But in case you don't know, the chairman deliberately and personally shifted this case on your table. And you got a chance. Either you stay or quit equal to any chamber. And if you ask me, I will ask you to take the bull by the horn. Because you'll be committing suicide if you dare fail this test case. Yeah. Can it be, huh? Call it whatever you like. Just get the job done. Give you the courage to steal from me. Chairman, I, I never knew you. you are the king of the jungle, sir. I'll tell you. You're fast, pretty damn fast. But let me tell you, that's not a compliment. I'll just pass with the wave of the hand. My boss, you've got guts. What do you do, Johnny? The two. I'm the wash your racket. Yeah, I try. Actually, I see 
Oh, 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 whatever is carelessly kept. Was that how I kept my wallet? Carelessly? Johnny, let's to try another angle. I can just take like that. Ever keep for money? No, I, I have never had, had such opportunity. I mean, have you had the opportunity to steal or kill for money? No, I, 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 I have never had such opportunity. So if such opportunity is given to you, will you? I, of course, I will give. Many, many times I will do that. That's smart. That's pretty damn fast and smart. But let me tell you, before you get started, Johnny, you don't get smart with hip hop. Is that understood? Yes, Chairman. Duke! Yes, my boss. Get him a place and prepare him. Oh, yes, boss. Let's give him the opportunity. Yes, boss. You go and care for money. Because he loves you. But you should understand that I'm a woman. That is what I've been telling you to let him understand. Uh, no, save it. You employ the worst kind of words to go about it. How many times will I say I am sorry? What kind of humiliations have I not passed through in order to atone for my sins? Serves you right. I thought we were trying to find a solution. What do we do about it? You let them know that you are in charge. In charge? Yes, as a mother who brought them up. How? Uh, you have to start learning that by spending the nights here. I mean, weekends. Martins. Martins, you started it again. Well, that is the most reasonable thing to do. And by the time you start doing it, they will begin to give you your respect. And perhaps it will help them to look for a woman to marry. After all, they have come of age, haven't they? I beg your pardon. I better go home to take care of Chris. Now? Yes, now. Why now? 
Because you look respectable enough. I wouldn't trust your parents if you try something else. So, you look respectable. So, you go now. I hope to God you know what you're doing. What you're telling me, mind you. I want to be the first guy to be to a chamber. But I don't know what I'm doing. Yes. Are you old? Yes. Did any policeman compel you to do so? No. So, why did you go to the police? When I came back, my neighbor Mr. Igwe told me that the police had severely checked on me. And? When I tried to find out from Mr. Igwe if he knew why. Did he? No. Go on. I opened my apartment door. Drop my travel bag and walk straight to the police. So, why you are doing all this? What exactly were you thinking about? I was performing my duties as a law-abiding citizen. <laughs> Great. So why you walk straight to the police station? Subsequently, the DPS office. Did you at any point in time feel afraid? No. Why? There was no reason to be afraid. Until they put cuffs on me, I had no reason to be afraid. Why? My lord, my learned colleague is derailing me. We are talking of a man who committed murder. A man who murdered his mistress in the cold blood. And the defendant is asking a relevant question, wasting the time of this honorable court just to buy time. In my considered opinion, the hangman is waiting impatiently to swing into action. Counsel, why don't you let me determine that? You may continue, defense counsel. Thank you, my lord. My lord, the guilty they say is always afraid. Now, let's see the nerves of this prosecution counsel by assuming that this man standing before you is actually perpetrated this crime. Objection, my lord. A way of assumption is being valid. This man standing there is as guilty as king, and it won't be to the interest of this honorable court to allow the defense counsel to lead this court astray. Counsel, you are overruled. Thank you, my lord. Now, let's assume that this man is as guilty as charged. Now, it will go on in history for the first time in this country that a man guilty of murder actually submitted himself for an arrest by walking straight to the police station. My lord, my client is free for any secretary examination. And if that is done, any secretary around the world will satisfy himself because he's not under the place of alcohol either. It would amount another miracle for a man guilty of murder submitting himself to the police station. Oh yes, there are witnesses. And my learned colleague here tried to make his cause believe that my clients actually beheaded his mistress and have read cases as a law student and have read, seen and heard thousands of false witnesses around the globe. And my Lord, if our technology has improved, I would like to call the so-called witnesses to pass through a light detector. My lord, my relationship with the Earth's affairs. I beg your pardon? I mean being very close to the ground. <laughs> Order! Yes, my lord. Because I'm very close to the ground, I can detect a liar. Even before he opened his or her mouth. Yes, my lord. You may not notice that. The so-called witnesses are very far from telling the truth. But if you don't mind, my lord, I would like to 
cross-examine the so-called witnesses now. Objection! Are you aware, counsel, that there are laid down procedures in this court? Very much aware, my lord. I am so aware of the giant legal juggle beyond the reasonable doubt. And besides, this man is standing in a tin bullets, and he will lose his life if found guilty. We are talking about human life here. It is my considered opinion that a few protocol could be breached just to make sure that we are sending the right candidate to the hangman. Then, my lord, <laughs> permit me to cross examine the so called witnesses now. Counsel, your plea is granted by the court. Thank you, my lord. My lord, the witnesses are not in court. So, we are adjourned until you represent them in court. The court wishes to rise. Court!